up everybody miss me much it has been about two weeks since i have posted anything on this youtube channel huh okay anyways today we're going to be doing something pretty exciting in this video i am going to be exploring a portion of a creek that i have fished long time ago check this out the cool thing about this particular creek that I am at today is that one this is not a trout approved water so the PA Fish and Boat Commission does not stock this place with trout and number two there is potential for wild brown trout the salmotruta in this little creek as a matter of fact my first ever wild brown trout came from this creek just a different stretch of this creek before we get started with today's video though, I do have to announce a few things in this video. I kind of realized that this video is coming pretty late in the month of March, you know what I'm saying? I have to announce the winner of the February Benefactors giveaway. So there you have it, it is on the screen. Congratulations, you won a $100 Daiwa rod. Make sure you send me an email so that we can authenticate and I can send you a prize. Similarly, if you want to participate in the February secret giveaway, meaning that you found all the letters in the videos that I posted here on the channel in February, this is your opportunity. Comment below. The first person to get the word right is going to win an amazing prize as well, okay? All right, now, without further delay, let's get the fishing session for today it started. Let the hunt for the wild trout begin. You know, folks, I am pretty excited about today because, as I've mentioned in the intro of this video, here in the Philadelphia area, you really don't find a lot of places where you can potentially find wild trout. I mean, if you go a little bit north from here into the Poconos, like I did with my friend Riley a while back, right? If you haven't watched that video, you should. Over there, there's plenty of wild brown trout. But here in the Philadelphia area, this creek right here, which I'm going to call Creek X, is one of the few creeks where you can potentially find a wild brown. It is rare, but it happens. So game plan for today, I got some night crawlers, I got some power bait because they do stock, private organizations do stock this place with trout as well. So I'm going to be hopping from hole to hole, explore some new holes. Like I said, I've never fished this portion of the creek and uh, see if there's any life around. Oh, got something. Oh my goodness, dude, it's a trout. No, wait, is it, is it a trout? I don't know what it is. Dude, first fish of the day. Oh, it's a creek chub. It's a creek chub. Dang, I was excited for nothing, man. I threw my night crawler down there and I saw the thing disappear and I thought, dude, it's a wild trout, right? But nah, it's just, a, it's just a creek chub. Check that out. Look at the size of this creek chub though, huh? Inhale. <laughs> no, I didn't inhale actually. It was cooking the side of the mouth on that worm. All right. Let's take a few shots and release this fella. Dang, man. For a moment, I was so excited. I thought I struck gold on the first cast. No joke. Just punch my stuff down there, you know? And I thought, dude, wild trout kind of came, you know? But nah, it's just a creek chub. At least there is some fish in this hole over here. And I believe that a creek chub is not the only fish in it. That's the good thing about it. I actually see a bunch of fish feeding down there, but I don't think that they are trout. I think that they are suckers. I think this is a hole with a lot of suckers. Oh, got a hit. Fish on. Yay, son. Is that a sucker? Trout? What we got here? Chub? I think it's another chub. Holy mackerel. Sucker? Chub? What is it? Ah, the only thing that is not coming up is the trout. It's another creek chub. Pretty nice size creek chub, too. Dang, son. I saw that take and I was happy for a moment because I was like, ooh, you know trout finally come up maybe wild you know nope just another creek chub semotilus atromaculatus 
Hmm, I'm starting to wonder now if there's a trout in this hole or not. It is shallow. Shallow doesn't mean there is no fish. Oh, dude. Was that a hit or stone? That was a hit. That was a hit. Yo, what is this? What is it? Is it a trout? What? We will never find out now, dude. What? Are you kidding me, bro? The, 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 the little thing. Did you see that? The little thing just blah, 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 right in front of me, man. Yo, bro. Okay, I'm going to run the slow-mo when I get back home to find out what species that was. It could have been a tiny little wild trout. It could have been a creek chub. I don't know, a little bit too aggressive for a creek chub though, because I'm using the EP series inline spinner right here. And I'm saying, oh man, now I'm frustrated, my man. It was like tiny, like th this big, you know, but if it was a wild trout, man, ah, it's okay, it's okay. Let's keep hopping from hole to hole and we'll see what happens. That fish was aggressive. You know, that fish was like super, super aggressive. It was right here too, man. Oh, dude, 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 trout, trout, 100%, I had a trout follow, my dude, 100%, decent sized trout too, I saw it, yo, that was no chub, that was, that was trout, holy moly, there's a trout over here. These fish are definitely not committing to the inline spinner, so I got myself here a little jig with the Euro tackle Anisoptera. I'm gonna give a few more casts over here to see if I can hook one of those two fish but there is at least one trout in this pool over here and potentially a wild trout so I'm gonna be spending five more minutes over here until I change holes my man that trout just never came back unbelievable I run the jig I run the spinner I'm still running the EP series over here, but I tell you what, this is how the wild trout are, you know what I'm saying? They can be very, very skittish. So it's like that first time when I saw the follow, that was a decent fish too, like 10 inches fish, you know? After that, I never saw it again. Uh, anyways, I'll be back here at the end of the day. I'm gonna give them, you know, 30 minutes, an hour. And meanwhile, I'm going to explore some other holes. All right, there is a hole downstream that I spotted. And for me to hit the hole, I need to be on this side of the creek. So I just moved from that side to over here. The hole is a little bit ahead over there. All right, it's coming up, it's coming up. right here there we go this is it this is it the hole itself is not that deep but it's got a nice little depth here i knew it i knew it what did i say i knew it i knew it for the moment i saw the hole my man wild bro look at the size of that freaking wild bro bro this ain't no a river runs through it but i'm gonna run through the little creek is it a wild brown? Yes! I knew it when I saw the hole, dude. I said it. I said it was going to be here. Look at this. Philly area. Actually, I don't know if this is a wild or not. It could be a stocked brown for all that it matters. But it is a brown trout and it hit the EP series. Look at that. Look at that. What did I say, huh? What did I say? Oh, oh easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's take a few shots and release this dude. EP series, brothers and sisters. I always tell everybody, EP series never disappoints. Look at that, huh? Now this could be a stocked fish because private organizations do stock this creek from time to time. It could be wild as well. There are wild browns in the stream. I just knew it from the moment I saw this little hole right here, this little run. I just, I knew it. Yeah, that's what's up. Not getting skunked today on the trout. Not today. Man, I don't know if that fish was a wild brown or not, but let me tell you, it fought like a wild brown, man. 
if it was a stock trout this stock trout has been here for quite a while because usually the stockies don't fight like that and like i told you guys this ain't no trout approved waters i have caught wild browns 100 percent wild from the stream so damn man that's what's up all right one fish in this hole good enough let's move to the next hole This is so sad. There used to be a great fishing hole right where this trunk is at. Before, this trunk didn't used to be here. You see, this trunk was like on the other side, and this one right here was like submerged in the middle of the hole. The hole used to be right over here. And I guess rain came, the place got flooded, and the structure moved around and sedimentation dropped in now all we got left is a shallow rapid this used to be the place like i used to come over here and i used to catch at least one fish out of this hole you know what i'm saying so i never thought i was going to say something like this but this is one hole that i'm going to miss man definitely going to miss it was it was right over here that is crazy oh yeah this is good this is good right here you see this right here this is this is real juicy water flows from the shallow area over here to what seems to be a little deeper pool along the wall this is it this is it if i were a trout this is exactly where i would be oh oh fish on fish on what did i say what did i say boy what did he say? If I was a trout, huh? If I was a trout, that's a wild. 100% wild, bro. This is 100% wild. Look at the colors on this trout. That's a wild. That's a wild, my man. I don't know about the other one that we caught, but this right here, this is a wild. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, my dude. There is no way that this is stocked. The way this fish is mangled, too, no eye, that's, that's a wild. Wow. I don't know if I legit should be happy or sad because this fish right here, albeit it may be a wild, it is so mangled up, you know, it doesn't have an eye, it is like all mangled on the side. I don't know, man. I kind of feel bad for this little, for this little fella, you know, doing a quick unhook on this guy right here. But let me tell you, this dude is in, is in bad shape. Look at that. Jeez Louise. All right, let me release this dude over here. This is where he came from. This fish has been in the water the entire time. And it is gone, son. Told you guys, man, if I were a trout, this is where I would be. Man, I tell everyone here on the YouTube channel, ain't no secret, Thomas EP series. I'm using the one six of an ounce nickel gold blade. When is my sponsorship coming, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. Thomas has, has treated me well over, over the years, you know? And it has worked extremely well for me in all streams around the area. Little jam, you know what I'm saying? You find these lures at Walmart, and let me tell you, they work. What else can I say? It doesn't look like there's anything left in this hole. That's how it has been today though. It's like one fish per hole, you know? You catch the fish, you move to the next hole. That's how it goes with this wild browns. Um, I don't know. This place is very trouty. I just gave a few casts over here at the falls. But here on the right side, I believe that we have hit private property. I kid you not. I think this whole piece of land right here belongs to someone. And I definitely don't want to trespass just to catch some wild trout. You know what I'm saying? So I think it is about time to head back. I'm not going to hit the holes down there. I'm just going to head back and uh, hit the holes that I hit earlier today where I missed those fish and see if anything decent shows up. Damn, son. Do you guys see what I see? Yo, this video, yo, whoa, whoa, this video about to get PG-13 now, okay? If you got a weak stomach or anything like that, I recommend you to jump the next 30 seconds or so, okay? 
Damn, dude, we got a butchered deer over here. Holy cow, look at that, dude. Oh, bro, someone did a good job out of this deer right here. I think someone was hunting over here or something like that. I don't even know if we're supposed to hunt in this part at all. I, I don't think so. But look at this. Oh, yeah, dude, left only the bones. Well, at least, you know, deer didn't go to waste. Ta-da! Look at that, huh? We are back to the initial spot. This is where I missed those two fish. And down there is the pool where I caught the two creek chub. I'm gonna give a few more casts over here, see if I can actually entice one of the two fish that I lost over here. There's a nice size one in there. I want to catch it. And then if nothing, I'm going to call it a day. Just have to make sure I approach this place slowly and carefully. Oh yeah, that was a nice cast. Ooh, I had a hit. Damn, bro. I had a hit and I missed it. Dang, dude. Oh my dang, man. That's it. That fish that gave me the hit. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to catch it now. Damn. <sighs> Can you believe this? That fish did not come back ended up not coming back you know this is the game with these wild browns or holdover browns or whatever they are they are just super super skittish sometimes you only got one chance at them and if you miss it you miss it i came back here after like an hour exploring all the other holes right cast right there boom felt the tap saw the fish go on the side they didn't catch it and I just knew it was not going to come back. Anyways, today was a good day of fishing. Uh, two what, potentially wild brown trout, right? I don't know if those were stocked or wild. I am leaning towards wild. I would like to emphasize in this video that this particular watershed, which I'm going to call Creek X, is not a trout approved water. It is not a class A creek, it is nothing. It is not regulated by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, right? And I have caught, back in the days here, wild brown trout, so I know that they are here. If the fish that I caught today were wild or not, well, I don't know. I'm not the wild trout expert, you know what I'm saying? So I will leave it to you guys to decide what they were, right? Especially the mangled, Philadelphia one my goodness man that that one was a struggler that one was 100% Philly fish <laughs> needless to say I am pretty happy with today's fishing session around my area Philadelphia County you know or Philly overall like I said in the intro there are not a lot of places where you can find wild brown trout and uh, I mentioned in the previous video on the YouTube channel now that it is March you can't really fish the trout approved waters. They're all closed until the beginning of the opening day. So it is a blast to come to creeks like this unregulated and kind of catch some fish. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. I will be bringing more videos on the YouTube channel now that, you know, I got better. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Tight lines and take it easy.